When I first started using software that allowed you to manipulate functions with sliders, one of the neatest things that I was able to do for a class that I was teaching pre-calculus at the time was to graph a trigonometric function and see the family of solutions. What is this plus 2k pi? So, so let's look here. Let's use GeoGebra to explore the solutions to the equation sine of x equals 1 half. Okay. First of all, let me use a text box to write the equation. Okay, so that's the equation we're going to solve. I'm going to hide the grid here. So, of course, this involves some trigonometry. I'm not going to go into the great details here, but the solutions wind up being at pi over 6 and then in quadrant 2, 5 pi over 6 if you think about the unit circle. But to see these solutions I'm going to plot sine of x. So there's the graph of f of x equals sine of x and then let's plot y equals 1 half. So we have infinitely many solutions. Every time these lines intersect we get a solution. So let me define a slider now. I'm going to call it k, and I'll let k run from negative 5 to 5 by 1 because I only want whole numbers, integers here. Um, and now, let's, def let's do it this way. Let's define, I'm going to call it capital X and let it equal pi over 6, and you use pi in GeoGebra to get pi, pi over 6 plus 2 times pi times k. And then I'm going to plot the point capital X comma sine of capital X. And we see that it goes to one of the solutions. And we can move the slider and see the whole family of solutions. So pi over 6, when I change the k values, pi over 6 plus 2 pi k is giving me the different left side intersections. If we look at the humps here, we get the intersections on the left side. The ones on the right side come from 5 pi over 6. So let me define... I'll call it capital X2 to be 5 times pi over 6 plus 2 times. I could use a separate slider, but I'm going to go ahead and let K control both. Pi times K. And then plot the point X2, and I used a capital X again, sine, or I could do F. I did sine last time, but the function's named F, so I could do F of capital X2 if I wanted to do that. Either way. And we get the right hand side solutions. So those two families of solutions will ultimately give me all of the solutions to sine of x equals one half.